The leaders of the U.S. and China met for the first time in a year on the sidelines of the APEC summit in San Francisco. At a historic country house outside the city, Joe Biden and Xi Jinping aim to ease tensions between the world's two superpowers. We have to ensure that competition does not veer into conflict. After his meeting with Xi, Biden detailed a raft of new bilateral cooperative pledges. They ranged from controlling the flow of the illicit drug fentanyl. We're taking action to significantly reduce the flow of precursor chemicals and pill presses from China to the Western Hemisphere. To the military. We're reassuming military to military contacts, direct contacts. And as, even artificial intelligence. We're going to get our experts together to discuss risk and safety issues associated with artificial intelligence. Biden said he and she also discussed the ongoing wars in Ukraine and Gaza. However, China had a different overriding priority, Taiwan. She noted in a readout released by state media CCTV that Taiwan was the most important and sensitive issue in bilateral relations. He urged Washington to live up to its pledge not to support Taiwan independence. He also called on the U.S. to stop arming the island. I reiterate what I've said since I've become president, what every previous president of late has said, that uh, we, uh, we maintain the agreement that there is a one-China policy and that uh, and I'm not going to uh, change that. That's not going to change. Beijing considers self-ruled Taiwan to be a renegade province that is eventually to be reunited with mainland China, by force if necessary. Most countries, including the U.S., do not recognize Taiwan as independent, but many oppose any attempt by Beijing to take the island by force. Biden and Xi last held talks on the sidelines of the G20 Bali summit in November 2022, when bilateral ties had already been fraught. Former U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi made an unprecedented visit to Taiwan in 2022. Beijing responded by cutting off military contacts with the U.S. and stepping up drills near Taiwan. The U.S. retaliated by expanding tech export restrictions on China. In January, the U.S. shot down what it called a Chinese spy balloon that entered U.S. airspace. Beijing had repeatedly denied the balloon was a government vessel, further straining ties.